Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Engineering Education. In this video, we will discuss about non-safe frame and we will solve this frame using moment distribution method. We know that whenever we want to solve any beam or frame using moment distribution method, we need to first find out fixed end moments for that beam. So let us find out step 1 as fixed end moments. So here a, B, B, C, C, D, B, F and C, E are the members. So first we will find out where we want to find out the fixed end moments when there is a loading then we have to find out. That means we have to find out for A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B, C, D and D, E. For B, F and C, E there is no any loading so there is no any need to calculate fixed end moment for B, F and C, E. So let us find out first for A, B. So M, F, A, B as this is a UDL, it will be WL square by 12, therefore it will be minus 30 into 4 square divided by 12, the answer is 40 minus 40 kilonewton meter. For BA, if it will be same, that is MF BA is equal to plus 40 kilonewton meter. Now next is BC which is an eccentric point load. It will be WAB square divided by L square for BC. Therefore MF BC is equal to WAB square that is nothing but minus 90 into 2 into 4 square divided by 6 square. Ultimately the answer is minus 80 kilonewton meter. For next CB that is MF CB it will be plus 90 into 2 square into 4 divided by 6 square. That is nothing but W A square B divided by L square. So it will be plus 40 kilonewton meter. Next is MFCD. MFCD. It is a UDL having a 40 kilonewton. That's why it will be W L square by 12. That is nothing but minus 40. W L is 3. W L square 3 square divided by 12 that is minus 30 kilonewton meter. Therefore, M F D C will be plus 30 kilonewton meter. So, this is all about our step number first which is a calculation of fixed end moment. Next, we want to find out distribution factor. So, let us write down step number 2 that is distribution factor. So, step 2 is distribution factor. Whenever we want to calculate a distribution factor, we must know how many joints are there. When we consider this, there are two joints. There is a joint at B and joint at C. Other are the end supports. That's why we will make a table as a joint. Then member then k that is stiffness then summation of k and distribution factor so there are two joints let us consider a first joint is b in this b in earlier problem in the beam we will get a maximum two members meeting at a joint but now here for b there are three members meeting ba bf and bc so we will write down one by one member ba then second is B C sorry B F and the last is B C. From B to A, if we look at A is your A is uh, fixed, that's why it will be 4 E I by L. L is 4, that's why it will be 4 E I by 4. That is nothing but E I. For B F, F is fixed, it will be again 4 E I by L. I is I itself. There it will be 4 EI by 4. Again it is EI. For BC, C is intermediate support. That's why it will be 4 EI by L. But here I is 2I. Therefore it will be 4 EI in, into 2 divided by L. L is 6. That is nothing but 4 by 3 EI. This is all about joint B. And the summation of this, summation of K is 10 by 3 EI. Now, whenever we want to find out a separate distribution factors for BA, EI divided by 10.3 EI, the answer will be 0.33. 
point three. For second BF, it will be point three, and for BC, it is point four. So these are the distribution factors for BA, BF, and BC. Now next, there is another one joint which is a C joint. For this C joint, three members are again meeting: CB, CE, and CD. So let us first write down for CB, then CE, and CD. So for CB, B is intermediate support. That's why it is fixed. So it will be four E into twice I divided by six because this is two I. That is nothing but four by three E I. Next CE, CE again E is fixed. That's why it is four E I by L. L is four. For CE, L is four. So ultimately, this is E I. For C D, it is D is hinge roller. It is ultimately a roller which is a simply supported. That's why it will be thrice of E I divided by L. L is three. So ultimately, this answer is E I. So addition of this will be again ten by three E I. Summation of all these three. We done summation of these three and summation of these three is ten by three e i. Whenever we calculate a separately distribution factor for C B, four by three divided by ten point three e i, it is point four. Then for C E, e i divided by ten point ten by three e i, this is point three, and same it will be point three. When we add this distribution factor at a joint, it is one, and when we add these also. Point four plus point three plus point three. Ultimately, it is one. That means whatever distribution factors we calculated are correct. After calculation of distribution factors, we have to distribute the moments those we calculated. Our next step is step three: moment distribution. The table which you see here, which is somewhat different than the earlier one, here. We have to prepare a table in such a way that all joints will be counted. That is joint A, B, C, D, E, and F as per our problem given. And then the next members, B A member is there, A B. That's why it is B A B. For from B joint, B A, B F, B C. That is B A, B F, B C. For C joint, C B, C E, C D. For D joint, it will be D C. E joint, it will be E C. And F joint it will be F B because here moments are transferring from one point to the another point also. That's why we have to write in this way. Now we have to write down the distribution factors for this particular member. Let us see the distribution factors which we calculated. So the distribution factor for B A A B we don't have any distribution factor for B A it is point three, for B F it is point three, for B C it is point four. Same for C B, it is point four. For C E, it is point three. For C D, it is point three. For D C, E C, and F B, we don't have any distribution factors. Now next, we have to do. We have to add here the fixed end moments, whatever we calculated. We calculated different fixed end moments. That is for A B, we have minus forty. For B A we have plus forty. For B C we have minus eighty. For C B we have forty. For C E we don't have any distribution factor for C E. Sorry, um, fixed end moment for C E. For C D it is minus thirty. For D C it is plus thirty. And Other we don't have any fixed end moment because there is no any loading for B F we don't have any loading for uh, C E also we don't have any loading and for C E if we don't have any C E then E C also and F B B F also so this is somewhat symmetrical but here first we need to think about point D our point D is a roller support that's why we have to balance the moment here. How we can balance? Just add negative equal uh, value of negative sign. That is, if it is plus thirty, add minus thirty and transfer half from D to C. 
we are uh, at d we are doing that's why d to c we have to transfer half that's why it will be minus 15 now write down the final balancing moments because when always at a simply supported end moment will be zero so final moment will be as it is minus 40 40 then minus 80 then 40 then 35 minus 30 minus 15 it will be minus 45 and this is somewhat zero and these we don't have any values now what next we have to balance the moment that means what we have to add the moments at a joint and multiply with the distribution factor that is 40 minus 80 ultimately when we add it it will be minus 40 and multiply with 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.4 but after that write a opposite sign so minus 40 into 0 0.3 it is 12 we have to write down in opposite side our answer is minus that's why it will be plus 12 then 0.3 it will be plus 12 and the next it will be 0.4 it will be 16 then for cb what we have to do 40 minus 45 value is minus 5 multiply minus 5 with 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.3 and right here with negative sign so answers will be 2 1.5 and again 1.5 so these are the balancing the moments we balance those moments by multiplying with a distribution factor now we have to transfer those moments how where we have to transfer the moment we already know that we have to transfer a moment to the fixed end half let us consider b a yes a is fixed that's why we have to transfer half that means this value will be 12 divided by 2 which is 6 now next from c b let us consider this b c b to the c c is hinge and even c to the b b is sorry uh, b to the c c is fixed from c to the b b is fixed because it is a intermediate support so we have to transfer these also so ultimately 16 divided by 2 will be 8 and 2 divided by 2 will be 1 next is what dc when we consider this from dc yes we have to transfer from dc that means c to the d no we don't need to transfer d but from d to the c yes from d to the c we can transfer but we don't have any value next which is remaining b f b to the f and c to the d is remain e is remaining so b to the f we have to transfer but f is point here b f it is 6, 12 so 12 divided by 2 will be the 6 but we have to transfer from this to f joint that's why 12 divided by 2 will be the 6 i am writing here 6 next value is c e that means we have to transfer from c to the e e joint that is 1.5 divided by 2 it will be point that it will be point 75 this will be point 75 this is somewhat moment which we transferred now next what would what to do again if you consider this b joint c from b joint there is only one value one for c joint there is only one value one we already know that we will multiply it with the distribution factor when we multiplied one with 0 0.3 then the answer will be minus this is plus value so ultimately it will be minus minus 0.3 then 1 with a 0.3 it will be minus 0.3 then 1 with 0.4 it will be minus 0.4 now 8 with a 0.4 whenever we are multiplying it will be minus 3.2 it will be minus 2.4 and it will be minus 2.4 now next is what after the multiplying moments with the distribution we have distribution factors we have to transfer half moment to the fixed end so ultimately we'll transfer this point to this point that is b to the a then uh, b to the c and uh, c to the b again from b to the f and c to the uh, b to the f and c to the e ultimately we will do that so it will be if 0.3 divided by 2 it will be minus 0 0.15 from 0.4 divided by 2 it will be minus 0.2 from 3.2 divided by 2 it will be minus 1.6 and now next we have to transfer from b to the f 
b to the f of 0.3 is there. So, 0.3 divided by 2, it will be minus 1 point, it will be uh, from b to the f we are transferring. So, 0.3 it will be minus 0 0.15, b to the f it will be minus 0 0.15 and from c to the e it will be c, c to the e that is 2.4 divided by 2, it will be minus 1.2. From C, we are transferring here. So, ultimately, whenever we want to consider it, I will show it in a different way. We are transferring B to the F. That means, ultimately, we are transferring. I will use a different color code for that. B to the F. B to the F, we are transferring. That means, ultimately, we are transferring here. And from C to the E, that means, from C, this is our point C, from C to the E, we are transferring here. So, ultimately, we have to transfer from each joint to the other joint. Next is what? 1.6 multiply with all these three values. So, ultimately, we will get the values. Now, it is minus. So, our value is B. 1.6 multiplied by 0 0.3, it is 0 0.48, 0 0.48 and 1.6 multiplied with 0 0.4 it will be 0 0.64. Now, next 0 0.2 multiply with uh, 2, 0.4 and then 0 0.3 and 0 0.6. So, ultimately it will be 0 0.08, 0 0.06 and uh, last is 0 0.06. So, these are the values. Now, next is what? We have to transfer a half. What we done earlier, we have to do it again. We have to transfer from this point to this point and again from uh, B to the F and from C to the E also we have to transfer. So, 0.42 divided by 2, the answer will be 0 0.24. 0 0.64 divided by 2 will be 0 0.32. From 0 0.08 divided by 2 will be 0 0.04. And again, the last values will be from B to the F, it will be 0 0.24 because b is 0 0.48 it divided by 2 it will be 0 0.24 then from c to the e it will be c value is 0 0.06 divided by 2 it will be 0 0.03 so ultimately we got the answer into 0 0.0 but last we'll do a last one iteration that is 0 0.04 multiply with 0 0.03 and 0 0.03 and 0 0.04 0 0.32 will be 0, 0.0 multiply with 0 0.4, 0 0.3 and 0 0.3. Let us multiply 0 0.04. It is a plus value. The next will be the minus value. So, 0 0.04 multiplied by with 0 0.03. It will be minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.01. Then again, minus 0 0.02. Next, 0 0.32 multiply with 0 0.4 the answer will be minus 0 0.12 then minus 0 0.10 and minus 0 0.10 so these are the values after the calculating now we will get a final moments now we have to add, add these values because ultimately we got the answers from in terms of 0, 0.0 so we need a final moments whenever we want a final moments now we have to add from this point Below this, we have to add all these values below this line. I am just drawing it for our consideration. Now, we have to add it from this dotted line below. If we add minus 42.24, the answer will be minus 33.19. Next is 52.17. Then the next is 12.17. Uh, the next is minus 64. 34 then next is 46.72 the next is minus 0 0.94 the next is minus 45.94 this value is 0 and the remaining will be minus 0 0.42 and the last is 6.09 so these are the final moments which we calculated now next is we want to draw a bending moment diagram. So, here also at joint, we will get a equal values. So, when we add it, we will get a 
equal values so here these are the final end moments of a frame analysis after the distributing the moment now we have to draw a bending moment diagram whenever we want to draw a bending moment diagram we will use these values also and parallelly the values due to the udl that is this is udl if it is udl the value will be wl by wl square by 8 if it is a eccentric point load it will be wab by l and here wl square by 8 so these are the values let us draw a bending moment diagram for this frame our last step that is the step number 3 after step after the step number 3 we have step number 4 which is bending moment diagram bending moment diagram now let us draw a bending moment diagram for this beam whenever we want to draw a bending moment diagram we have to let us draw a bending moment diagram before drawing the bending moment diagram uh, we have to consider the what are the final fixed end moments and uh, as per our problem i had written here this is point a b c d e and f so parallelly i am writing the moments which we got a b we have minus 33.19 which is anti clockwise for b a it is plus 52.17 which is a clockwise similar pattern i return clockwise anti clockwise here now we have to draw it on the page whenever we want to draw it let us draw first fixed end moments so this value is 33.19 either you have to draw it to the tail end or to the toe end of a arrow so we will draw with the head end so this is 33.91 for joint b it is maximum value is 64.34 so i am writing here 64 0.34 which joined here at 52.17 so this value is 52.17 the next maximum value is 46 point something so i am drawing it here and i am joining this this is 46.72 from that point it will going to be less that is 45 to 45 45.94 to 0 so this is 45 so i am just joining these here the next value is 12.17 if it is to end and then again we have to draw it here so this is somewhat it is 12.17 and here will be the 6.09 so i am just joining these values by a straight line next for this column 0 0.6 0 0.94 somewhat here 0 0.94 and here is 0 0.4 so ultimately i am joining these two this is 0 0.42 either you have to draw to the tail end or to the toe end of that so ultimately this is our final moments which we calculated now the free end moments whenever we want to draw a free end moment for first span there was a udl that's why it is wl square by 8 the value is 60 kilonewton meter i am writing here this is wl square by 8 which is 60 kilonewton next is eccentrical point load which is w a b by l so ultimately this value is 90 this is w a b by l this value is uh, i think this is somewhat uh, 90 into 2 into 4 divided by 6 and this is 120 120 and the last is again a udl w l square by 8 this value is 45 so i am writing it here w l square by 8 which is 45 this completes your problem regarding with a non sway frame thank you like share subscribe excel engineering education